One minute. Each other. It was 
it was an important part of um, the competitive time in my judo career. Um, he was a big part of it, and I, uh, I was really excited a couple years ago when he, he came back and rejoined the club. And since he rejoined the club, he's been one of the most important people here in his contribution level. He, he works with everybody, he, he covers classes, he, he, he's brought his family in, uh, he's, his, his spirit and energy have really changed the complexion of the club in a very positive way, and he added so much to it. Um, it was, I feel very fortunate to be part of helping him be recognized for this, because I never believed that any instructor gives or awards a promotion as much as they are have the opportunity to recognize a student who's earned it, and Eric has certainly earned it. He's, uh, his competition, he was up, he was almost up for showdown back in 2002 when he, uh, when he, uh, he had to stop doing judo with us for a while, so he was about to receive his showdown or be eligible for his showdown all the way back then. So he's had a lot of eligibility that's going through this time period. Um, and now that you guys saw him go through this, uh, his technique was excellent, his his fundamentals were excellent, his fighting spirit is excellent, and anybody who thinks this is easy, and I don't think any of you do, but believe me, when you, as, as, as we are no longer on the, the happy side of 40, going through this much work, and it is not easy. <laughs> which side of 40, easy. which side is the happy side? <laughs> yeah. Below the, below the middle. I'm close, but it's still below the middle. <laughs> it's, not so, it's not so easy to keep fighting a bunch of young guys who are fresh and haven't done anything. And uh, he did a great job coming forward and doing that for us. So I feel fortunate to be part of presenting Eric with recognition for his showdown. He's already received a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's one of the very few people, and we have three in this club, who have a, a double black belt. I hope that everybody here one day can achieve that because you all can. It's just following through and putting it in the energy and work for it. This is, a, this is an important thing. And there's something that no one else can ever take from you or it doesn't matter whether you have the belt itself, all those different things. Once you earn it, no matter where you go the rest of your life, it's yours, you did it. And something you can always look back on and say that you did the work, you earned it, you did everything that it took to become part of a really, you know, a, a small group of people who actually begin and carry through to not the end, but to this very important milestone. So, congratulations. Jiu-Jitsu was. It was about three years where this is it. This all I wanted to do was Judo. And uh, as I worked with Chris through the... But, uh, first I want to thank Chris because no matter what, I, I just couldn't have done this without him. So I'd like everybody to give a hand for Chris. And as I worked through the Nagi no Kata and my techniques, this one thing had occurred to me that the, the belt around my waist is cool, but you know it's just as much everybody here's belt as it is mine because unlike other martial arts, this is a, a, a participate. I mean, this is a team sport, no matter what, because. I can't get out and I can't I can throw myself like Jim Carrey in, uh, in whatever movie it was and you know, he's kicking his own ass. But, but seriously, any sweat and any blood on my belt 
it's just as much as everybody's here as it is mine. So, you know, I just hope that uh, me wearing the belt, you know, I can do everybody here proud of this. And I just want to thank my dad again for giving me everything. Thank you. Follow up what Eric said, particularly about Chris. Um, we'll talk about that stuff in a second, but I want to, you know, he's done an incredible job. This is two showdown demonstrations he's done in the last two months. Most people don't get to UK one showdown demonstration. He's knocked out two in a couple of months, and it is hard work. Not just in class, you have to sacrifice most of your class time because you have to go out and you have to help the showdown candidate go through all this work, do all these techniques, take fall after fall after fall, come in off hours. And he is, he went from a year ago where he was one of the guys, you're like, ah, I work Chris. He's, uh, he's, uh, <laughs> where he is, lights out one of the best bouquets his close produced in an awful long time. Not just in his technical ability, but his spirit and willingness to go out and be a great bouquet. His desire to do that has really shown through, and he's become one of the real, real key elements of the of, of the club as he's emerged the last few years. So he's, a, he's become an incredibly important part, and I want to once again, just like Eric did, wish you all the give you a round of applause. He's Congratulations to Paula. Congratulations to Eric. Um, if you guys want to come chill out over here, we're going to spread things out a little bit. I have some more demo, uh, some more promotions to do, some color changes and some strikes for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Judo. Um, I'd like to ask all the, the, the black belt, whether it's a Judo black belt or Jitsu black belt, come up here with me up here and just hang out on the side of the room with somebody else. Um,